Welcome back everyone. Today I will show you a rarely mentioned technique to access files from your Bamboo Labs printer memory card. Whether you have an OG X1 Carbon or a newer A1 printer, you can access files from your printer over the network without cloud services using a file transfer program or FTP. This is nice because you do not need to remove the memory card from the machine to add, modify, or delete cached files. You can pull time-lapse and recorded video files too. This is especially helpful for P1P and P1S users who do not have direct access to the memory card in Bamboo Studio. So let's begin. So what we'll do first uh, is grab an FTP program. So using your preferred browser, uh, you can navigate to this website here, and this will be 98.com. So find the program and then uh, hit get your Ninite and you could just download it and run the program. If you don't have it, it'll obviously install it. If you do have it, it'll check to see if there's any updated versions. Now, since I have it installed, um, we're just gonna keep going. All right, so once we have our program installed, we can then just open it up. You're actually going to click right up here on the left, right under file. So once here, you can click on new site the host name will be the IP address of your printer. You can easily find that in the network section on your printer. Under encryption, you want to make sure you're set to require implicit FTP over TLS. Your username should be same throughout all of your Bamboo Labs printer. So that will BBLP. And the password is actually your access code. So this will um, vary from printer to printer, but you should find it in the network section. You don't need to go into LAN only mode or anything like that. All right, and now we are in. Now the nice part about this, is you can actually see uh, under the IP cam, this is any video that you've taken. So if you have longer videos, you can pull those up there and you can drag this into any of your folders on the left here. Um, under the cache, this is any uh, prints that were cached to your printer. You will see any of your time lapses. And again, you can just grab any of these videos and drag it into a folder. So right now, if I were to take, let's say this here, and then once it's moved over to the computer, you can open it and do whatever you like from that section, excellent. So open it, play it. Now I'll actually show you another way where you can use a different FTP program. So this one again is FileZilla. I'll show you a program called WinSCP. So again, open up your favorite browser. Uh, you can just do a search for WinSCP, download it, and then install it. finish that. So again, you can start with the new site and it's the same setup. So just make sure you're on the FTP file protocol, make sure that you're set for implicit encryption, uh, put in the IP address of your printer, uh, the port you can leave alone, username will be BBLP, and then of course your access code. From there, you can then just log in and you'll have access to your printer's memory card. So again, you can add files to it, you can take files out, um, you can delete things if your memory card's getting full, and you don't have to remove the memory card from your printer at all. So if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Thank you.